We have some breaking inputs coming in, uh, staying with our top focus, that is the Jagdish Keitler uh, alleged involvement in the 1984 Sikh genocide. We are now learning that uh, Titler's voice samples are going to be matched with the Sting Audio of 2018 released by Delhi's Akali Dalma. Manjeet Singh GK and Maninder Singh Sirsa had released this audio. Now the CBI plans to contact the Delhi police for control room records from 1984. Lakvinder Kaur, whose husband uh, Badal Singh had been killed during that genocide, could also be re-examined. Let's also quickly go across to Arunima, who's joining me on the phone line. Arunima, um, not only is there fresh evidence, but there also seems to be a new approach being adopted by the CBI this time around. So absolutely. You know, what the CBI is doing is looking afresh at the evidence that they already have or the evidence that was in the public domain and try and see whether that evidence uh, can stand the rigor of law in, in, a, in a court, try and build with circumstantial evidence and also, uh, you know, listen to the witnesses, listen to the complainant once again. So what is it that they're doing? In 2018, the Shiromani Gurudwara Prabandha Committee here in Delhi uh, and the Shiromani Akali Dal released a video uh, in which they claim that the man in the video, the voice which could be heard, uh, the video was not very clear, uh, mm. but they claim that this was Jagdish Taitler. And Manjeet GK, one of those, the, the, the leaders there, uh, has been called by CBI because he was part of that press conference when the sting operation was released. So he has been called, right, he has been called uh, to, uh, you know, really uh, tell the CBI officials as to from where this sting operation came, did he record it himself? We are told that some Delhi businessman had a conversation with Jagdish Taitler, which he recorded and sent the video to Manjeet GK. Now, this Delhi businessman who goes by the name of Ravinder Kumar could be questioned next by CBI to take on record whatever he has to say about the circumstances in which this video was um, uh, really recorded. Right. Jagdish Taitler's voice sampler will, sample will be matched with it. The complainant could be questioned again. Her statement could be taken again. And they're also trying to see if Delhi police could help them by producing the control room records from 1984. Right, that's a, that's a very valid point that you are making, Arunima. Having said that, this is the fourth time that the CBI is going to be approaching this case. Uh, having said that, what are the challenges right now being faced by the CBI? Because let's not forget, this is a case which is over 39 years old. Uh, and that too at a time, happened that uh, at a time when there was, uh, the technology was not as quick. There was no social media back then. Well, the biggest challenge is that they have filed a closure report in this matter three times earlier. Right. So they will be asked that, you know, why is it that suddenly you're looking at this uh, case afresh? What is it that you have on uh, record now? So what the CBI officials say is that since this case is with them, they're trying to see if the evidence that is already recorded can be reutilized along with fresh statements of people. Uh, they're also saying Jagdish Titler, of course, had called that sting operation mob threatened to sue for defamation all the people who had blamed him. But since he has come out and given his uh, voice samples, CBI will try and see if technology can help them unearth this alleged conspiracy. And they are, uh, like I said, uh, trying to see, uh, you know, if this, this new evidence that they are considering uh, can help them piece together the chain of criminal conspiracy. It's difficult since it's more than three decades, almost four decades old case. Yes, right. Many thanks to you, Arunima, for uh, bringing those breaking inputs on this story. Remember, CNN News 18 is bringing you exclusive inputs on the story and we'll be keeping a very close watch on more developments as and when they happen.